It's my birthday! I did it! It is Katie's birthday. Honestly, we're just having a very chill day today. That is the only goal is to kind of relax. We did a lot of walking yesterday. Like 17,000 steps, I think we fingered. The estimated. The video from yesterday probably just cuts out after the uh, haunted tour. Uh, I we didn't make it. To we made it to Bourbon Street. Bourbon Street, baby. But we did not make it in anywhere except to get emergency pizza, pizza slices. Yeah. Bourbon Street is an interesting vibe. We're gonna try to make it there sober tonight. We tried making it down Bourbon Street, we're starving, we were drunk, and we ate pizza and then walked back to the hotel. So today we decided to keep it casual. We went to Brennan's for breakfast. A surprise we got in there, but um, it was, how, how was Brennan's this morning? 10 out of 10. Certifiably slap. Everything was good. Everything was good. We started off with the seafood gumbo. No, we started off with the French bread that was to That's die true. for. That is true. Yeah, it was like a four course meal. Honestly, yeah. Five courses, I guess, really. We got the French bread and some butter. And then we got the New Orleans coffee with chicory. And then uh, we got the, the uh, seafood gumbo. The seafood gumbo, which was the first time we were able to get gumbo. It was so so far this trip, good. and it was phenomenal. Shrimp, oyster, andouille, sausage, and uh, okra. And then we followed that up. We both got the eggs Benedict, which was also the very best good. eggs Benedict of my life. Then we had the banana Foster. Which was the home, Brennan's is the home of Banana Foster. Amazing. Which was phenomenal. Oh, my God. And then because it's Katie's birthday, they surprised us with a cotton candy swirl and they had a little surprise inside. Cake and ice cream. And she got gifted a Brennan's uh, apron. apron. It was so sweet. I was like, oh my gosh. Yeah, so uh, all in all, it was a phenomenal breakfast. It was one of, one of the best meals I've ever eaten in my life. Yeah, it was really, really good. And the place was super cute. And it was nice. And then we... Uh, Went over to Marie Laveau's voodoo shop. No pictures. Uh, we weren't allowed taking pictures in there. Uh, but it was just kind of nice to kind of walk around a landmark, I guess. And then we're now we're just kind of hanging out at Cafe Beignet, waiting for our beignet to see if it is better than Cafe Du Monde or not. And just kind of enjoying some actual jazz music for the first time True. since we've been here uh, before kind of relaxing for the rest of the afternoon. Oh, these are definitely bigger. Let me see. Oh yeah, those are massive. I think you gotta shake this up. Thanks. That's what I've seen the, oh. Oh, the locals do. Yeah, you gotta get that powdered sugar everywhere, baby. Yeah, there we go. Oh. Oh. This is hot as hell. Okay, Cafe Beignet, way oh. bigger. Oh, nice and soft and fluffy. It's not as crunchy. But these are way moister. These are my favorite. They do say bigger is better. That's what I heard. Cafe Beignet. Thumbs up. It slaps. Frenchman Street. We decided to hit up Frenchman Street at least once before we left. 
uh, before we head back over to the French Quarter, Bourbon Street for dinner. Frenchman Street is known for a lot of jazz music and jazz bars. Pretty uh, Apparently not on Mondays, <laughs> or maybe later on Mondays, I don't know. Only one restaurant that has any music coming out of it. So that made our decision pretty easy as far as where we were gonna stop. This afternoon we just chilled, it rained a lot. So we just kind of hung out, we did a little bit of shopping, a little walking around. Ate some oysters. Um, we did eat some oysters, wait out the rain. Now we're just gonna get kind of hang out in the uh, little bar and chill until we have our dinner reservation. Yep. Well, it is Tuesday. It's the last day. Hey, we have to leave. We're all packed up. Ready to go. Not ready to go, but... Ready to go, but not ready to go. Right. We had a lot of fun. We got a lot done. Very busy. And uh, now it's time to say bye. Last Make night... Goodbyes. Last night we... Uh, Went down the Frenchman Street momentarily before we headed back up to Muriel's. And then afterwards, we kind of walked around upstairs because upstairs there's a site of a murder. Was it a murder? Was it, he committed suicide, I thought. Oh. I think it was suicide. Oh, suicide, that's right, because yeah. he, hung, he hung himself. Mm -hmm. And so we kind of walked around upstairs and looked around. It was pretty creepy up there. Yeah, very, very uh, eerie. I don't see exactly where he did it at, but either way, I wouldn't exactly reserve that room to uh, no. to do that. Uh, we had a good time at dinner, mm -hmm. and then walked around upstairs and explored the haunting, and then we walked by the church afterwards to bless ourselves. Before we headed around Bourbon Street, just to kind of walk around and kind of get that Bourbon Street vibe. Last night, so we had to. <laughs> we we did, a, yes, a hand grenade. We did get a hand grenade just because we at least I felt like we should. You had to. It it's, was pretty good, actually. Yeah, it wasn't bad. It wasn't the most powerful drink we had here, though, despite their... Well, yeah, appetizer. which is kind of surprising. I was expecting it to taste like straight alcohol. Yeah. It didn't, but it was a good night either way. Yeah. Quick rundown of some of our favorite things. So, favorite foods that we've eaten here this weekend. Buttermilk drop drops. Oh, Bananas Foster. The Bananas Foster from Brennan's. The Charbroiled Oysters at Felix's were awesome. They yeah. were so good. Oh, the Po Boy that oh, I haven't been able to stop thinking about. The Po Boy from Parkway Tavern. So good. Muriel's dinner experience was good. Three course meal, pork chops, phenomenal. All, yeah. all three dishes were really good. You gotta pick a top dog. I don't. I, they, there's nothing. I think I'm going the Po Boy. <laughs> I can't stop thinking about it. Which is fair. I'm that and the buttermilk drops. Something about it. Just getting out into the neighborhood. Yes. And the, the food. Yeah. That Po Boy, man. I'll think about that for the rest for of my sure. life. Get off the get off the main street. Man. Yeah. Favorite activities that we did. I said the drink tour. Definitely super fun. I, I am drunk, man. <laughs> <laughs> Impromptu was the Museum of Death. Oh. Would come back and spend three hours there. Like, you I wish, could read everything. Yeah, I wish we did that. I wish we had more time. We didn't expect to do that, really. And we didn't really have time to fully do it. And I don't do think it. we expected it to be as interesting as it was. But it, it was w really, yeah. What was the park we went to when we had the buttermilk park? Louis Armstrong Park yeah, in Treme. That was another yeah. impromptu thing because we were just walking around, like, taking it all in. and. A very kind lady, like we talked about, came up and guided us to this church, and we got to see what was it—the tomb of the unknown unnamed, slave. yeah, unknown slave. Yeah, so it was like not yeah. planned whatsoever, but really cool. And it was really neat to kind of see and walk around not only the neighborhood, but like really important historical landmarks as well. Yeah. So uh, now we're going to 
get on the plane and go see our babies. See the see the family. And uh, I guess this is the end of the trip. Wow. Wow. All right. That's sad. See you guys on the next one. <laughs>